What's going on guys? It's Gendo here, and I'd like to welcome you back to another edition of my Pentagon slash Hexagon series. And today Zamalek will be taking on Sundowns at home and ES Tunis away, the final two matches in the African Champions League group stage to determine if we move on to the semifinals. Taking a look at how the groups are, are um, situated right now, Kaiser Chiefs and ES Tunis played a match the day before Kaiser Chiefs lost to ES Tunis. If you take a look here, ES Tunis gained the victory over Kaiser Chiefs, so they stay on eight points. We're at seven, Sundowns at five, and ES Tunis at four. So if we defeat Sundowns today, we will overtake not only overtake Kaiser Chiefs, but we will also assure us advancement into the semifinals. If we draw against them, of course, we'll be level on points with Kaiser Chiefs, but still in second because they have the higher goal difference. And if we lose, then Sundowns overtakes us in second place. Looking at the other group, uh, CS Fax are in first place with nine points, Ali with seven, White Eye Casablanca with seven points, but a match in hand against Telefonat, who has just three. So Telefonat not technically out just yet, but if they lose or draw against White Eye Casablanca, they're essentially out, thus killing the thought that there would be three Egyptian teams in the semifinal. Before we get to these matches, we must go over what we've been doing in the transfer market. It's only been two weeks since our last live com, but there has been a little bit of transfer dealings, namely in Nabil Ali. Nabil Ali has been picked up by Catania in the Serie A for 600,000 pounds. He's been voicing his displeasure with the club. He's really wanted to move to a bigger side, and I really didn't want to risk disrupting my side and have him underperform, so I needed to get rid of him for money. Of course, I wasn't gonna let him out free. 600,000 pounds is a little less than what I wanted, but in the end, money is money, and I'll use that to try and strengthen other areas of my squad, namely my defense. My defense is a little lackluster at this point, so I'm gonna try and look for some good deals out there. Uh, a couple other Players of note, mostly on the reserve side, we have Salah Hamdi. Salah Hamdi, one of my right midfielders, going off to Lazio. The 19-year-old was sold for 225,000 pounds. And yes, I did like his speed, but he wasn't going to factor into my squad, especially if Adiaba is, was still there. Adiaba, definitely the first choice right side midfielder. So Salah Hamdi got, my, got a good amount of money for him. That was about the valuation I was thinking. And then the last one, Mohamed Sobi, we sold him to the Norwegian side odd for 325000 And this one was a steal because, as you can see, now his estimated value has dropped by 100,000 pounds. His speed is what killed me on him, I, er, is what killed me from you know trying to bring him into the side. Only a 7 on pace, 4 acceleration. Yes, he does have uh, some height and some jumping reach. He's six foot two. His jumping reach is really good. His heading is really good. His defense, oh, a little mediocre. Didn't really want to keep him. And if um, you know, Odd just came out of the out of the blue and offered uh, offered a bid for him, so it's like you know what? I took a look at him. Yeah, I wasn't going to use him. Maybe he would stay and develop a little bit more, especially on the speed side. But I wasn't going to use him in the near future. So three hundred twenty-five thousand pounds. Definitely a good, good deal. Uh, as you can take a look on the ins, there was only one in, but unfortunately he's out now. Novel Tran coming in from Raja Casablanca, essentially on a trial. It was designated as a loan, but he, he came in and underperformed during the friendlies. So I sent him packing back to Raja Casablanca, not going to use him whatsoever. So essentially, I did 1.2 million pounds worth of business on the outs with the sellings, and nobody came in. So I'm going to be using my current squad. All right, so just taking a look at our match, I need to go back to our match. Zan like taking on Sundowns, of course, we need to pick up the result here. They're coming out in a 4-5-1 formation. We are going to be using 4-4-2, the tried and true Battle tested 442. Lucky OKK is going to be in nets. Kamga, Ekobo, El Said, and William along the back four. 
The mid four will consist of Adiaba, Silla, LaRoque, and Adu. And sitting up top, we'll have Olivier Quinn and Docore. All right, boys, let's kick off and let them know we need the win to assure advancement. Team Talks went over well, and let's kick off versus Sundowns. Of course, you remember from last time, Sundowns in yellow and blues. And we're going to be in our traditional all-whites with the red trim. And so far right now, not a lot happening. Uh, we've had a couple of shots, but other than that, just a lot of midfield play. I encourage the boys. Tell them to get forward as much as possible, too, since, you know, we're not doing... We're not doing uh, all that well, just passing the ball around the midfield. Not Really not a lot happening, as we've gone almost a full half without a highlight. And right at the end, right at the end, Sundowns making what a move. Good save by Okeke. We were really lucky that ball clanged off the crossbar, too. Didn't want to go down 1-0 just at halftime. But it's 0-0, nil -nil, and I'm not too happy <laughs> With what I'm seeing from this team, we need to, to get our finishing up to snuff. In midfield, yeah. Get out there and go do it. Everybody's happy. Let's go kick off for this next 45 and try and bang in a goal. All we need is one. At this point, all we need is one. If we can find one. Good clearance out. Wasn't, wasn't too happy Sundowns was coming on top of us. Good clearance out. Now I'll just tell them. I'll tell them gently but firmly. Push forward. Get a goal. One of their players going off injured. Hopefully that'll help us. Uh, let's take a look at the opposition. Hmm. Interesting. And there's strikers. All right. I guess there isn't really anything there. All right, 62 minutes gone. Finally, we have a highlight. Adiaba coming up the right. Uh, we need to hold on to the ball. LaRoque gets it taken off of him, but Decore picking it up, trying to get into the 18-yard box. Adu launching across in there to Quinn. Ooh, what a save by the Sundowns keeper. It forces the corner. At least we got a shot off within the first 60 minutes of this game. Not a lot, not a lot else has been happening. Uh, Sundowns is about to get a corner, but I need to make a sub in. We are going to bring on David Osensi for Silla. And on the defensive side, we're going to have Shehata in for El Sayed. LaRoque with a throw in. Get a cross in, sir. Gets it out to Adu. Adu launches in high. Adiaba not there. Oh, wait a minute. It falls to Decore. Adiaba getting the cross in. Decore getting a foot on it, and Samalek up 1-0 after 78 minutes, and that's that looks like to be the capper. Uh, <laughs> something I really didn't expect to see. Okay, we're going to bring on one final sub. Uh, Abdelati is going to come on for Quinn in these last six minutes, plus whatever stoppage time, three minutes of stoppage time, and all that's gone. This match has gone fairly quickly with not a lot of highlights. And only one goal, and Zamalek at full time defeats Sundowns 1-0. That automatically pushes us into the semifinals. Good job, boys. We need to step up for better competition, especially in the semifinals. If we face off against, like, White Eyed Casablanca or SC or CS Fax. White Eyed Casablanca defeating Telefonat, so that essentially means Telefonat are out. Taking a look at everyone else who we have qualified. Kaiser Chiefs, Kaiser Chiefs uh, versus Sundowns next. Uh, Sundowns need to defeat Kaiser Chiefs by five if they want to advance. Otherwise, any result in Kaiser Chiefs gets in. Uh, why not Casablanca? Why not Casablanca still not qualified? And that's because Al Ali, they're going to be taking on Al Ali next. If Al Ali defeat Casablanca, then it's all going to come down to CS Fax versus Telefonat. Yeah, this group's still not wrapped up, but Zamlek, as you can see, that nice little cue by our name, we have qualified to the semifinals. Now we just need to 
worry about our players not getting injured versus ES Tunis. And then we'll see who we'll face in the semifinals. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with the final group match versus ES Tunis. Hey guys, before we uh, get into his final match with ES Tunis in the group stage, let's take a look at some of the other matches that went down previously. Okay, this was the group of matches that happened yesterday and Sundowns surprising Kaiser Chiefs with a 4-1 victory. Sundowns actually overtake Kaiser Chiefs now and are officially advancing to the semifinals. CS Fax defeated Wide Odd Casablanca, which meant uh, CS Fax uh, have 12 points and Wide Odd Casablanca have 10. And then just today, before starting this match, Al Ali defeating Telephone at 2-0 making Al Ali even on points with White Eye Casablanca, but that goal difference, that two-goal goal difference, is what sealed Al Ali moving on to the semifinal. If I'm correct, if I'm correct in my thoughts, Zamalek will be taking on Al Ali in the semifinal match. But we need to go through this first for it to be official, so let's crack on with this final African Champions League group match. ES Tunis coming out with a 4-5-1 formation. Uh, this is essentially going to be a little bit of a rotated squad of the players that I can actually use in the Champions League. We're going to have Seiko Diaby come on in net. Paula Banda is going to get the start in right back. El Sayed, Shahata, and William will comprise the rest of the back four. Our mid four will consist of Adiaba, Hashem Samir, Laroque, and Abdelati. And then sitting up front, since we can't really switch them out, it'll be Quinn and Docore. So let's kick off and let's just get through this and make it official. Good team talks all around and let's kick off for this final match at ES Tunis. Of course, we're gonna be in the white with the red trim. ES Tunis in the orange and yellow. Is it orange and yellow or is it yellow and red? I can't really tell. But no matter, after 25 minutes though, just not a lot happening that's newsworthy. ES Tunis have had four shots, we've had three, but like I said, neither have been newsworthy. 35 minutes gone, we finally get our first highlight of the day, and it looked to be going our way. ES Tunis having to reset, going all the way back to their goalie. Long ball forward. <laughs> Try to chip the keeper who was off his line, but he was able to save it. He is Tunis now looking to come forward and past our defense and just whistles a shot to the left of the crossbar. Left of the post, I should say, but 45 minutes gone. Um, yeah, halftime. Decore is looking a little tired, but I'm going to leave everyone out there. Just let them all get a run out. Not much use making drastic changes, though I do want to keep everyone fit and healthy for upcoming league matches. And so if I see, start to see anybody getting really tired or does come out injured, then of course, got to make the sub off. But within the first couple minutes of this half, we are having some great attacking movement. And, uh, right up until that, and as he has two missed just hoof it down to our end. Trying to find some passing space up the wing, now through the middle, Quinn to Dokori, who takes him off. Good shot, but it's saved by the keeper. Keeping the pressure up now. ES2 is trying to clear the danger away. Adiaba coming up the right, oh, smacks it right into a defender. Still no goals. Decent amount of shots from both sides. And there it is. ES Tunis finally cracked the deadlock. 1-0 after 51 minutes. Not something I really want to... Not something I really want to happen. But at the same time, we are fully advancing. Don't want to, to end on a sour note, though. It would be really nice if we come out of here with, with some sort of result. A draw, a win. Either would be fine. Not a loss. Can't uh, can't lose on a or can't leave on a losing note. A lot of 
back and forth possession. Quinn trying to get it through to DeCorey. Maybe some 1 2 back to Quinn. Great shot from Quinn. Just over the goalkeeper, and Zamlek tie it up on a great strike from Olivier Quinn. Just at the hour mark. They're going to bring. Uh, make some subs now. Gideon War is going to come on for Samir. And we're going to have a Kobo come on for Shahata. And those are going to be the subs for now. 70 minutes gone, still 1 1. ES Tunis have had the advantage in shots. And here comes a corner. Whipped in and then it's cleared right out. Okay, before that gets resolved, I'm going to make one more sub. And Paula Banda is going to come out for Frank Kamga. And that'll resolve as soon as this highlight's over. ES Tunis trying to make a late push, 83 minutes on. Keeping it on attacking third. That's some great movement, but. ES Tunis player skies it over the crossbar. Free kick in a great spot. LaRoe, great free kick taker, but he hits it right into the wall. Oh, slots it through DeCorey. Players down, players down everywhere. And the ball falls to a Kobo. The center back. Getting the late, late winner, it looks like, in the 90th minute. And Zamalek up 2-1. Two, two, there it is, full time. There is the ending on a positive note like I wanted. Zamlek with a 2-1 victory over ES Tunis. Great job, boys. Good win. And as you can see right there, Zamlek, of course, topping the group. 13 points, 4 wins, a draw, and 1 loss. That only loss coming to Kaiser Chiefs just last episode. So now you will probably see it pop up. Maybe, maybe, maybe. All right, well, I'm... I guess it's uh, not going to pop up right away, but, you know, let's get rid of that. It should pop up really next. Yeah, here we go. Zamalek taking on Al Ali in the semifinal, in all Egyptian semifinal. Great stuff. Now we take a look at when we're going to be facing them. All right, the end of September, 23rd of September and the 30th, right before the Egyptian Cup match. So that's when we're going to be coming back. Al Ali, great side. One of the one of the, of the top clubs in Egypt, as I've said in the past. So this is going to be a really nice showdown. It's going to be a really tough showdown too. So we come back. We're going to be facing off against Al Ali in the African Champions League semifinal. So until that time, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, comments, suggestions, questions, anything else, please leave them in the comment box below. But as always, this is Gendo. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care and peace out.